Well, for almost two decades, Viva Creative produced events all over the world for clients like Maserati and Norwegian Cruise Line. When everything was canceled and revenue plummeted to zero, the company made a big pivot. CEO Lauren Green joins us from Rockville, Maryland. Lauren, welcome. It's good to have you on tonight. Thank you. Uh, we're good talking you, about big events in Italy, Middle East, Hong Kong. What do you do when revenues go to near zero? you got to uh, innovate. You've got to be flexible and adaptable. And the, the best way to create certainty is to do exactly that and to figure out where there are opportunities when these big challenges present themselves. And so that's that's exactly what we did. You know, we, we literally were doing uh, an 18,000 person event on March 1st and on March 3rd, every bit of our revenue went away for the rest of the year. And so we took our talent and we immediately applied them to a, a project. It was an online project. We teamed up with Tim Shriver called The Call to Unite. And it was a 25-hour live streamed event that was produced completely from home. Everybody was uh, in remote locations. And we, we used our talents to create content in a completely new way to in, create a new experience for people that was in, in an innovative way. You created a digital experience for the D.C. Cherry Blossom Festival, which is one of the most beloved events uh, in, in the D.C. area. I, I know from growing up in that area, everybody likes to flock down to the Tidal Basin to see them. Yes, we, uh, we saw that uh, the Cherry Blossom Festival was canceled and uh, we were uh, looking for ways that we could help. So we reached out to, uh, to the organization and said, we, we can help you. And so we, we brought this event online, created an amazing experience through video and digital uh, experiences. And uh, we're very pleased to say that this uh, became one of the top places to visit based uh, from the uh, New York Times. Yeah. You make it sound easy. Uh, I know it was tougher, though. Um, you had employees that you had to let go. Did you apply for a PPP loan? Tell me about that process, whether you got the money and, and how that's worked out. We did. We did apply for the PPP loan, and it actually helped out greatly. We didn't look at it as a way to bridge from where things were to where they were going. We looked at it as more of how to pivot the company to make sure that we could thrive as things continue to change. You know, the, the live event industry is going to continue to to change. And I think as things come back, you're going to see the use of digital technologies uh, really have a much more pervasive use in them. So we've continued to adapt and, uh, and take on the right kinds of people um, and also do training for the people that we do have to make sure that everybody has uh, relevant positions uh, going forward.